What is up, everybody? How are we doing today? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings, and welcome to today's Wellness Minute. Today's Wellness Minute is examine guilt. Guilt is an emotion, sort of. It's a cultural thing. Uh, if you're like me and you grew up in the Midwest, you know that guilt is something that people typically uh, kind of grow to using either intentionally or not as a way to uh, weaponize accountability. That feels a little intense, but I'm going to say it that way. So examine what guilt means for you. Guilt, I see as something that is not necessarily always a productive means of thinking about accountability. Uh, if you can still hold yourself accountable, if you can apologize, if you can understand that maybe you could have done something better or understand in the same way someone else probably could have done something a little bit better or maybe maybe they crossed a boundary maybe you crossed a boundary whatever it is try not to dwell on things because ultimately when it comes back around to it if you've done something that will potentially harm a relationship with someone that will damage trust with someone all you can do is apologize and try to do better so uh, don't trap yourself by not speaking your needs because you're feeling guilty about how what speaking your needs and asking what you need for or asking for what you need <laughs> may make someone else feel. So today's wellness minute is just examine what guilt means to you and why it's something that should or should not be important um, and be careful about how you're communicating with others because for someone else, they may have grown up in a guilt-heavy household or a guilt-heavy culture and you may be like, totally putting them on edge just by trying to hold them accountable and not being clear that you still trust them, that you still want to maintain a relationship with them. And that's today's Wellness Minute.